previously. So let's build, I want to do, I want to build a new, basically a workshop. This will become brand new storage. I said brand new, it's currently is storage, but you know, these upper levels can become storage, I guess. And all this crap, all the new looms and stuff, can go into a new building, which is going to be a workshop. Now, of course, it needs to be close by, which means it needs to be in this style, which was handy because we got those green bricks from the dungeon. We had some already. Uh, 800, so we must have had about 500 already, which is more than enough. So where to build it? I'm thinking it has to go, because I don't want to extend any of these current buildings. It has to be a new one. I'd like something there, but that's our trap area, isn't it? Here is the middle of, it's our, like our courtyard, so we can't have it there. It has to be here, doesn't it? In that middle section. I'll go over and I'll show you what I mean. Although it is night time, probably not the best time to be going off my buildings. People are going to die from roofs. I'm thinking somewhere like here where these trees are. In between these two signal towers. How are you still How are you still alive? How does this even make So I was thinking of building it somewhere here between these two towers. And I could make it tall and thin or short and wide. I don't know. Should it be the tallest tower? I don't know. I just don't know. But that's what we're going to do once day rolls around. I'll take this first of all, thank you very much. Hey. Right, once day rolls around and we see what we're doing, I'll get on with building that. Second thing I want to do is close that door. Because who the hell keeps leaving their doors open and annoying me greatly? Uh, have we checked if you sell the fishing rod? You do not. Okay. So, tomorrow night we'll check, I guess. And... Nice. Uh, tomorrow night we'll check that. We'll also check the angler every day. Now, I'm not planning on doing any fishing for a little while. But we do have our, our fishing chest around here somewhere with some fish already pre-caught. So if you ask for those, we can turn them in and just be done with that. Uh, for the day at least, and we'll check the fish, the mechanic every other night to find out about her fishing rod. You know, I should probably make like a potion storage area, shouldn't I? Hmm. Get out of here, you! Is that the sound of daytime I hear? Or is that the sound of me heading to the snow biome? I don't know. Was I a werewolf? I must have been a werewolf. It's morning, isn't it? 446, it is! Let's talk to the angler, like I said I would. You have a quest, what do you want? Are you... Unicorns and rainbows are absolutely great. They're everywhere, even in the water. No, really, I actually saw a unicorn fish in the hallowed lake. Your job is to reel it up and let me have it as a pet. I really like look at that, although it does look like it's got um, a little toupee on. It looks like, uh, what's it called? Pagan Min. The pagan minfish. Okay, yeah, we're not gonna de deal with that. We just don't. Where's Walter? Oh my god, he's free. Okay, everyone's pan look at everyone panicking. I have no idea where he's gone. I I think the safest thing is to shut. Everyone, lock your doors. Walter is on the loose. We don't know where he is. Stay calm, bunny. Bunny, calm down. Okay, I'm gonna. I'll be right back. And by that I mean I'm gonna just go up here, away from where in the nice open, so I can open area, so I can see if he does sneak up on me. So sadly, this little area and this little blueberry bush is gonna get chopped down. So, hmm, how big do we want it? Let's assume three items for building per side of the room, plus a two space in the middle for standing, would be eight blocks wide. So let's just, how big is this? One, two, three, four. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. So this is eight, plus like two thick bricks on each side. That is a very thin tower. Although, I said three things. Where is my, where is my brain at? Three things on each side. These things are usually... <gasps> Romeo. Oh my god, Romeo. Do you know Walter is somewhere wandering about? He's not even in my garden, look. Nobody knows where he's gone. Nobody. So you watch your back. You're probably best to be up here with the angler, to be honest. Uh, okay, you don't have what I want. I, just, I regret warning you about Walter now. As I was saying, these things are usually like three or four wide, aren't they? If we go to mine this up, look, it's one, two, three. This one is one, two, three. This one is one, two, three. It's one, two, three. The furnace is one, one, two, three. They're all three wide. So if we have three on either side, two space in the middle, that's three, six, nine, eighteen, twenty. So we want the building to be twenty wide. How wide is 20 wide? And that sounds like sh a stupid question. But, let me up. If we... I need to find the middle point. Oh, I hate... Oh, jeez. This is why I hate doing stuff like this and commentating, because I need mathematics on my side. I tell the body through here because I'm so lazy. I need dirt and I need bricks. Thank you. And I need these. Thank you. And we'll put away this Firefly 2 since we're here, because why am I carrying that? Uh, let's get over here. Slime, get off my roof. Alright, so I want the dirt on is the easiest way to do this. Now, you might see me doing this a lot, actually, in my Let's Builds. But I use dirt as a measurement tool. And I'll show you exactly how I do that. So if we line it up here. So rather than struggling to count how big a certain area is, I can just use mathematics and uh, just count how many dirt blocks I use over a certain area. So I think this one needs a, a couple more. So we have 946. Let's just split 46 of these out. Like so. And furthermore, furthermore, so if 900, so to go across here, look, we use, we'll see in a second, we're down to 56, which means you used 44, so we know the area between the two uh, campfire lantern signal fires, between the two signal fires is 44 bricks wide. Now, we wanted our building to be 20 bricks. So, that leaves us, whoa, with 24 bricks, which is 12 bricks on either side. You see how quicker that is than what, counting out crap? So, what we do is we remove 12 bricks from each side, and there we have our building's point, basically. So 12, 954 out of 12 would be 966. As soon as we hit 66, we're good. So we just go across. Slowly. Slowly. And screw it up. I know we want 12 more from this side, which would be 978. Now this is our building size right here. At the perfect midpoint between them. Which is handy, because I would have, if I was doing this myself, I would have started it a bit further over this way. But it turns out that it's actually over this way. Okay, so now we place a little green brick on the edge there, like that. And now we know that is our wall. Now, normally I don't build it too high, so just one little nodule will do. And we do the same at this side, which would be here. Nope. Here. One little nodule up, like that. And now we can clear out all this crap in between. Wow, the, these claws really don't have much range, do they? Uh, in fact, let us go home. I'm sure there's a tool that extends my digging range. I don't know what it is. It's probably in utilities, isn't it? Creates a grid on screen. Block placement. Item placement. 
Ay, 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 I don't see one. Is there really not one that extends my range of digging? Oh, this is going to be a pain in the butt. Pain in the Botox. Hey, hey. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, no, I was about to catch that. Why is, why? Why would you turn against me? Hey, anyway, so we're going to dig across here like this. Now, of course, we're going to leave those trees. Well, not really. It's just the sad fact of the matter is you can't mine the block underneath a tree. You have to mine the tree first. If you mine that little nodule, then we can mine that. Mine the tree, then we can mine that. Simple as really. Bit of a pain in the butt, but it will do. And then we want to just... Just so we know, it's going to be there. This is going to be... This is going to be a nice little extension we've got going on. Why now are you leaving one here? There we go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now we're actually going to need a hammer. Let's see how good the jackhammer is. Okay, yeah, this works very fast. It has actually been a long while since I've needed a hammer. And it looks like this is definitely better than the hammer. I remember the hammer was taking me ages to do anything. Okay, I am happy with this. So we're going to have to actually do this, aren't we? The reason I say that is because this is our outer wall for the building. We're also going to have to do that on the inside here because our walls are always too thick on our buildings. It's a nice little tip if you ever want to do some building. Uh, maybe just make your walls slightly thicker than they need to be. Look, two wall, two thick walls just gives it a little bit more depth. It looks more like a building rather than a, a little thin thing. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. A little thin thing. And then we'd want another one on the outside like this. Now the awkward thing about this look is the fact that uh, well the stairs are literally just going to walk into this awkward position. So we need to fix that. So we'll figure out what to do with the stairs shortly. After we figure out whether or not... Is that what I wanted this to... That's just the staircase, isn't it? That's not the... Okay, we're good. Now, how deep do we want this to be? That's the question. Now, if we make it a bit deeper, with the, the staircase height, doesn't matter. It actually means that much less. If we just go down... Let's say that much. And then go across. This gives us the ability to add the stairs onto this much easier. For example, we could then get rid of this, this, and this, and this would be our doorway here. And you can see you could easily walk up into it. Do, 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 boom. Maybe even one more level, like this. Now it's even easier, I say easier. It's the same, really, but we've got a bit of a doorstep, like this. If I go like that put down a layer of these. Don't want that grass to grow, I'll sort that out in a minute. And there, there. And now, if I bring this down a little bit, of course, where the door would be. You can see how you'd walk up, there's like a front porch area, and then you go in like this, and we're good. Now, of course, as with all things, the floor is only one thick. We need to change that up to being too thick. Of course, you don't have to do this. I just think it looks nice. God, no, this grass spreads so fast. I don't like it. Stop. I, I can't dig deep enough to get rid of the little nodules now. They annoy me so much, there's not much I can do. Because I, I accidentally mine it up like that. I'm too, I'm too good with my mining abilities. Trying to get rid of little grass nubs is a pain in the butt. It's like, yeah, just dig them up. Look, it's horrible. This is my perfect, inner perfectionist coming out. So these videos, I'm not sure how long they're going to be. Will I include the entire Let's Build in a video? Uh, probably not. These will probably span over a few different videos. The reason for that being, of course, I'm going to be doing other stuff in between. In fact, we might leave off this little build as is, just to check. Is there a Pantera bulb? I... Do not see one. That's probably the only reason we're going to leave this area is for checking planteras. 
and for checking uh, the the fishing crab over here, which I've already checked.